Good morning, folks. It's about two hours later than you're used to seeing the news. If you're really curious about the rough mornings around here, just ask in the comment section and someone will let you know. Hurricane Matthew is at Florida. We're in the thick of it now and we'll send good thoughts there while we await damage reports. Hopefully this extra two hours this morning gave you a chance to watch our special video from yesterday afternoon. If not, get right to it after this one as we head over to spaceweathernews.com right now to find the Earth facing quiet, utterly dominating the sunspots on the disk. Reminds me of that not a creature was stirring story, it's so calm. The X-ray flux is on the floor, showing the lack of solar flares and here the sunspots being shamed at the moment. Two swinging in with a loner at the limb, Northern grouping lost Gamma Classen is now just as divided in polarity as the large southern grouping. Solar wind continues to calm down, even if the blue phi angles being a bit stubborn, and Earth's magnetic shield finally had one whole day without such disruptions. But alas, with only one day left in the specific earthquake alert, it's looking like this one will be a miss, taking us down to a terrible 549, a sad 55% accuracy, in a world where it has allegedly never been done even once. Never mind. Eyes top left because that dark patch heading in to face us over the weekend is a trans-equatorial extension of the southern fields. Almost no chance of geomagnetic storms when they begin to face Earth. I smell attempt number 10 coming soon. Top stories include this. A plasma cannon star. It's on an 8.5 year elliptical orbit of its red giant binary and it begins munching the outer layers and firing off into space upon periastron, its closest approach to its star. Then this brand new map shows every volcano and earthquake that has gone off for the last 50 years or so. They've got sulfur releases on there too, but those get annoying after about three seconds, so I turned them off. This is linked below, and it's an excellent resource, a bit mesmerizing as well. Scientists think they'll be able to find large-scale patterns that help forecast future events. Pretty good idea. Then this. Folks, we put out a video yesterday afternoon called Solar System Circuit. While these morning news elucidate the energy coming into the planet, show where it's going, and even the results it produces, it is our plasma lab where we see what current will do across the range of the lithosphere, and even what it will do to groundwater content in terms of large-scale pushes and pulls. It was indeed a reminder that our conference is coming up in April. In addition to doing version 2 of Magnetic Earth, I will give a two-part presentation on the solar system circuit, from the sun, down below our feet, and what's happening at a number of the different stages in the process. And by the end of that conference, I expect everyone in attendance will be able to predict earthquakes. Seriously. Also got the full schedule, speakers, presentation topics, and more in that video, and over at the conference info page at our website too. And folks, since it is my birthday month and I reject standard practices, anyone who gets a ticket this month of October will get a gift from us. Two free months to check out the website. Just send us an email once you get your ticket, and you'll be entered to win a pretty cool gift at the conference itself. With number two on the way here in my house, there is a lot of this is the last conference talk coming from the only boss I've got on Earth and we don't argue with her. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It is 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.